Gartner predicts that 90% of the organizations attempting to implement DevOps will fail. Now, I believe that should be a concern for the CEO and not the CIO. Why do I say that? Businesses need to change very rapidly in today's world. And the IT function is a key enabler of that change. They need to be able to respond very quickly to business and to increase the speed at which the business can change or the business velocity, as we call it. When Gartner says 90% of DevOps implementations will fail, they say it is because they will not consider the cultural aspects of change. We believe it is more than culture. Culture is a very, very critical aspect of the change. But we believe actually DevOps implementations involve three things, people, process, and technology. Technology has multiple aspects. There is the need to move from the existing legacy monolithic type applications into a world of microservices, cloud, open source type technology. That's one aspect. The second is the need for much greater automation in the IT function. A lot of organizations think that implementing CI, CD, and maybe testing, that is continuous integration, deployment, and testing is sufficient. We think it starts from the planning process and ends in continuous operations. So we believe this end-to-end -end automation is very, very critical to a successful DevOps implementation. So what happens when you have this kind of change in technology? Definitely, there's a change that's required to the people implementing the technology, both in terms of the skills they need and also in terms of the culture that is enabled for those people. There's definitely a need for teams to work in an agile mode, to have product teams rather than project teams. There is a need for the IT function and business to collaborate very closely, to work as one team, uh, and to have this product-centric view. So we implement these people changes through training and through training on the job as well through projects. We also realize that the change to the governance required in the IT function and the processes followed by the IT function. The way KRAs are set for the IT function will change. They will be a lot more aligned to the business. The way budgets are set for projects will change quite significantly. They will be probably set for each sprint or product rather than annually you know, for, a, for an entire project of transformation. So in Tech Mahindra, we have a process to manage all of this change for a customer. We have training programs that help customers train their teams on agile DevOps ways of working. We have a methodology that assesses the client's IT function and helps us to determine what the maturity level is and what aspects need to change for a full DevOps implementation. We also have the necessary tools for an end-to-end -end automation of the IT function, right from the planning process to enabling applications in production, and we call this the 7C framework. So all of this enables us to work with clients on implementing this comprehensive transformation of the IT function. We have done this successfully for multiple customers. In my conversation with various CXOs, we find that they have started this DevOps journey at multiple points. Some of them started at the technology level, some of them started through agile training, and some of them, of course, look at the IT function. Uh, and we have found that the most successful ones have taken the comprehensive view. Some of the organizations with whom we have worked to implement DevOps include a large railroad in the US, where we were able to increase the velocity by 40%. And we were also able to improve the predictability of releases from 40% to 72%. We also worked with a technology firm in the US where we were able to increase the velocity for their internal IT function by over 20%. Apart from delivering business velocity, a number of organizations have also been able to improve their efficiency significantly through DevOps and in fact reduce the cost of their IT function quite significantly. Organizations that we worked with have been able to achieve 15 to 25 percent reductions in their cost over a period of time. These are some of the benefits that they can achieve through DevOps, but I think the biggest benefit, of course, is being able to respond effectively to business change. At Tech Mahindra, we've been investing in DevOps for over four years now, and as a result of this, we believe we have the most comprehensive approach to a client's DevOps transformation.